make sure you take some time off once in a while. That's the theme of this week's entry. I am learning to thrive in the gig economy. Would you like to learn too? This week I want to talk about a topic that actually one of my clients suggested this morning. She uh, is a little overextended, has a lot of work going on, she works for herself, and she said, you know, maybe you ought to talk a little bit about uh, falling in the trap of working every day and just taking on so much work all the time. And I thought that was a good topic because it's actually something I was thinking about over the long holiday weekend. One of the best parts about re-examining how I did last year was realizing that I'm in a pretty good position. Not great. As a freelancer, as you know, everything is built on sand. Clients can disappear tomorrow. But I thought to myself, hey, I've made this much money working all the time. I mean, literally, I would get up in the morning, I'd work until I fell asleep at night. If I cut back a little bit, I can still do fairly well and yet have a little better lifestyle. So when I came back from the long holiday weekend, I started to in introduce two hours a day of downtime. One in the morning, one in the afternoon, where I'm just literally just taking about an hour and just relaxing, doing something that has nothing to do with work. Now, this has been very unusual for me. Because last year I worked every single day, at least doing something, doing a little bit of work. And I'm probably still going to do that this year. I don't know that I'm ever going to really take a lot of time off. It's just not who I am. It's not what I like want to do. But I feel like I really do need to include some downtime every day, just to stay fresh, to stay charged up. So I'll give you a typical day for me. Today was fairly typical. I got up, I was at my desk at 7 a.m. I was answering some emails. Then I, at 7.30, I had a conference call with one of my clients. Then I started editing, and around 10 or so, I took, I took an hour off. I just said, I'm, I'm just going to take some time and go do something social. I read, some, I read a book, and I just relaxed for an hour. Then I did some... Uh, packaging for my eBay and Amazon business. And then I picked up the editing for the rest of the day until about 4, 4.30. Then I got down to the post office. Now, there is an argument for scheduling pickups so that you don't go to the post office every day. I'm not a fan of that, though. I like going to the post office because it gets me out of the house. You know, if, if I don't have the post office, some days I might not have to leave the house at all. And that's great if it's snowing or it's bad weather. But the fact of the matter is, sitting home all day, every day is not really good. You need to socialize a little bit. So that's what I did today. Now, you know, it's after dinner now. I'm having this discussion with you. And then I'm going to do a little more work this evening, uh, probably listing some things on Amazon and eBay. I've got one article I can edit uh, for next week that I'll probably start to work on either tonight or tomorrow morning. I'm not really sure. But that's, the important thing is, and the thing that I really want to point out, is that I'm building those two hours of downtime into my schedule every day. I'm kind of curious what you think about that. Do you build in time to s slow down and just relax for a couple hours a day? Do you have a set time that you stop every day? Do you take specific days off each week? I'd really kind of like to know how you schedule your time off so that you make sure you don't become overextended and work all the time every day. If you could leave some comments down below, I'd really appreciate it. If you find this uh, week's entry any thought-provoking or interesting, please hit the like button. YouTube's really looking for that. And share the video with anybody that you think it might help. And uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you again next week.